You can see the hair is getting a little wild. We're gonna do a little how-to video on doing a haircut at home. This isn't advice by any means or a method on how to cut your hair. This is just me screwing around, trying to give myself a haircut while we're here doing our stay home quarantine. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I've got these clippers here that I've had for a long time, but I've never really actually used them. Um, so this is a great time to break them out because the uh, everything is closed with the quarantine happening, as you know. Uh, my hair is not really that long. I just really hate when it gets long on the side. So I'm gonna try and just take it slow, keep it simple. I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna do a scissor, uh, scissor cut on the top. I'm gonna, I usually when I go to the barber, I just tell him like a seven or eight on top. So I'm gonna tell him, try a seven. I'm gonna try an eight to start, see how that does. Top is looking pretty good. That's a pretty good length. I'm usually like a finger length type of guy. Um, the size is gonna be hard. That's where it's gonna get real complicated. That's where I can really, really screw this up. I'm gonna, I usually do like a two or three on the sides, kind of get it blended. But I'm gonna start with a four because obviously we can't undo anything. It's so much easier for guys. So, you know, if I screw this up in a week or so, you won't even notice. Average Joe that's never really cut hair before. I'm gonna go left-handed here, which I'm right-handed, so a little bit of a challenge, but. All right, so we're going to a three. Gonna step it down a little bit. Obviously, we're not gonna go up as high. Just gonna try and keep it just above the ear there. Did you ever think about the way we will adjust, the way like this pandemic, the way we've been quarantined will probably affect us for years to come. Like similar to maybe the way people lived through the Great Depression, which I think was probably even even worse time back then. I mean, probably much, much worse. Um, but it's just people that are from that era tend to be a little bit more frugal. They're more careful about what they're buying. They, they think twice about things as far as like uh, discretionary spending. I know I see it with my grandmother, um, but you know, I, I think that might be one of the benefits that we all get out of this is because I know when I went to Costco a few days ago, everything in the middle, like all the clothing, all the extra crap that we usually buy was like totally untouched. Nobody really cared about it. Uh, they were just in there to get what they needed and leave. And, um, and when you think about it, we do have a lot of crap. We, we, I know I'm guilty of it. People just tend to buy more than what they need. Not bad. Honestly, I've been some I've been to some chain uh, haircut places in the past that have given me much worse haircuts than this. All right, so we're gonna finish it off with the two here. Just very, 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 very subtle. Very, very, very limited. Very two. So we're gonna take a two, just touch it up a little bit, but 
be real careful, just real low. Not gonna go up real high at all. my hair just spike it up a little bit it's not no not great but it's not bad I mean for a first time haircut I think uh, I think it came out all right I kind of just screwed it up over here a little, a little too short but whatever it's gonna grow back in a week and we'll still be here on quarantine <laughs>